Welcome to Keeping It Real with KC. I am your host, KC Phoenix. Sagittarius, you are my third sign for today. I'm doing the March 2021 Tarot Card Energy Readings. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I do not read reversals. I read energy. So, yeah. And also, don't forget, energy has no gender. So if I pull a male or a female card, it doesn't mean that I'm talking specifically about a male or a female. Let me go ahead and get into this. For my pre-shuffle, I had the five of cups and I had the three of coins. But also something had me look at the death card too, as well, in the pre-shuffle for my main deck. In my clarifying deck, I got the sun and the knight of swords. So in as I was pulling together the energy, because Sagittarius, you've been on a roll. If you if any if you've been listening to my previous Sagittarius um, Sagittarius readings, you know that Sagittarius has been winning throughout. You've been on a roll. This situation, I feel like there was either a falling out where you lost a friend, or a friend may have passed away. Is what I feel. So lost as in it, you just, it, you were sad because you guys had a disagreement and you don't talk anymore, or it may be the other type of loss is what I was picking up. The thing is, is that the clarifying deck with the sun, the sun is the happiest card in the deck. So the thing that keeps on going through my head is the old song by Annie, the sun will come out tomorrow. And with the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Swords is air energy. So that is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It's possible that an individual is going to come in to help you through this process where they're like, hey, you know, keep your head up type thing. Or it could have been the end or that could have been the friend. It could have been an Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini that maybe you you had a falling out with. But regardless, the sun came out in the clarifying deck, which is the happiest card. So the sun is going to come out tomorrow. I don't know what the main will be, but we're about to find out. I'm going to take eight cards. And then after I take eight cards, I will tell you what they are. So... Let's go ahead and get eight cards for the energy of Sagittarius for the month of March 2021. May I have eight cards for the energy of Sagittarius for the month? Of, okay. I mean, something told me to take this card at the top. That's the only one I'm going to take. All right. I need seven more cards, please. Okay. Thing told me this. Okay. So it's ten of coins. Interesting. All right. May I have three more cards for Sagittarius, please? And this one doesn't want to go in. This is really interesting. And I have two more cards. Okay, may I have one more card, please? Okay, that's interesting. I'm going to take all of these. Oh, 
Okay, this is an interesting spread. This is something totally different. The Emperor, this is Aries energy. However, I think this Emperor is you. I believe you're, you're taking charge of a situation. The lovers came up. The lovers can be in this literal term talking about lovers. Also, the lovers is a major arcana card. It's Gemini energy, just like the emperor is a major arcana card. It's Aries energy. I honestly, with the lovers, I don't feel it's the literal term. I'm not getting that. I'm not getting that this is romantic. I feel this is someone that you have been dealing with. And you're waiting on some information because the three of this, it says three of spears, but this is the Game of Thrones deck. It's three of wands. With the three of wands, three of wands is waiting for your ships to come in, meaning you put certain things in place and you're waiting for your ships to come in. The reason I say um, messages coming in is because the Page of Swords. Page of Swords is air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. There is a message that is coming towards you. Or you could be sp somebody could be spying on you. I'm not picking up the spying thing. Uh, I feel this is a message. And I feel this message is money related. Is what I feel. This lovers, like I said, it can mean literal lovers. I feel this is a partnership. You're waiting for information on a partnership in regards to money, which two of wands, so you can make a decision. You're waiting on some information so you can make a decision. And the world card, which has been coming up a lot for people, is where you are seen by the world. It's also completion of a level, completion of a cycle. And also it can be relocation. I believe that you are looking to relocate. You're specific, that you are specifically looking to relocate. And you're waiting for a certain piece of information to do that because the card that comes out right after the world is the fool. The fool is new beginnings. I don't think the, I, like I said, I don't think this has anything to do with romance. I believe this is all related to business stuff. And, and that, that seems to be your energy lately that I've been digging into for the Sagittarians that this resonate with, where you've been on your business stuff. You've been on the grind is what you've been doing. And I feel like this is a business communication that you're waiting on so you can relocate to somewhere else. And the business communication involves some type of partnership, but also it involves with that page of swords, the message coming in, it involves a lot of money, a whole lot of money is what I'm getting. Again, this Three of Wands was already here after the um, Lover's card. So you had already set things in motion. Hence why you're waiting on this message to come in talking about this money because you don't have all the pieces on the board yet. You won't know for sure what you want to do. Two of Wands, even though it says Two of Spears, Two of Wands, until you have the information the message that comes in about whatever deal this is that you're trying to close or handle or, or what have you. That's what's going on. You're looking to relocate. You're looking to start new. And my spirit told me to take these two cards. Whatever message comes in for you when it comes to the relocation and everything else, the Seven of Swords came out, and this is the future. 
because his head is leaning to the right on this card. This is the future. Make sure you read the fine print. There, there's an old saying, not everything that glitters is gold. So not everything that glitters is gold. There may be, because this is going to, since it's the Page of Swords, the Page of Swords comes in fast. It's a fast message that comes in. Whatever the message is relating to this money that you're waiting on or this business deal, go over it with a fine tooth comb. Because if you don't, the card that accompanied the Seven of Swords was the Ten of Spears, which is the Ten of Wands, meaning you're going to have to carry a heavy burden. You'll be carrying a heavy burden. If you don't read the fine print in the deal, whatever deal it is that you're trying to close and wait on, don't just glance over it and be like, okay, let's relocate. It's going to be a new start. No, because usually when the Seven of Swords comes out, it means that something isn't right. It means that either you're trying to pull the wool over someone's eyes or someone is trying to pull the wool over your eyes or that there needs to be some type of strategy involved as well. It can, it, it can also mean strategy. You need to strategize more. Don't just jump out, which is what the fool does. The fool just jumps out. It's like, oh, got the news. All right, time to go. No, with the seven of swords. Don't just jump out on whatever this business deal is. Make sure you go over it with the fine tooth comb, because if you don't, it's going to end up being a heavy burden for you. That's what I'm getting from this. As for the pre-shuffle. I don't know. Like I said, I feel like with a friend being lost. And now I'm starting to feel like you're jumping from one partnership to looking to jump to a new partnership. I don't feel like this was actual where someone passed away now. I feel like this is a business partnership you were dealing with before and you're looking for the green light to jump to another business partnership. You're, you aren't pleased. The good news is, is that in that clarifier, the sun came out. So you're going to be fine regardless. But this is just a warning card. Well, both of these are warning cards. Read the fine print. When you get ready to go to this new partnership, whether it's a new job, even though I'm not I'm not picking up the energy of a job. I feel like this is a, a universe. Can I have some backup here for how to articulate this, please? Because I'm getting frustrated. I feel like this is a thing, and this is just an example. Like you have a company and you have a supplier that you've been dealing with, but that supplier, you something you just fell out with the supplier. Either the, the supplier raised their prices or did something that you just didn't agree with. And you're like, you know what? I need to find me a new supplier. Let's say you sell t-shirts. I'm just making this up. Let's say you sell t-shirts and the supplier that you get your t-shirts from all of a sudden, they raise their price a dollar a shirt or something like that. And you're like, wait, what? Which five of cups. You're like, hold on. What am I going to do now? How am I going to make money? I'm, I'm running a business here. How am I going to make a profit off of this? So then you put stuff in motion, which is what the three of wands is. Three of wands is waiting for your ships to come in because you put things in motion before. Because one thing about Sagittarius, they don't wait. They make things happen. And you put stuff in motion by sending out communications to all these other suppliers saying, hey, what's your best rate? What's your best rate? What can you do for me? And all of this stuff. Finally, the page of swords delivers that communication. The communication looks good on paper at first, glancing over it, 10 of coins. And you have to make a decision on what you're going to do. And then you're going to move on. You're going to just move on the world. That part of your life is completed. You're going to get a new supplier, yada, yada, yada. And it's almost like you're starting new again. But within that paperwork, the paperwork, the devil's in the details. Seven of swords. 
And because you didn't go over the details of that paperwork with your new um, with your new supplier, now you have the ten of wands on you on your back. You're carrying the ten of wands. Is what's happening. That's an example of what I'm talking about. Like I said, I don't feel this is a job. I feel this is for an entrepreneur is what I feel this is for. So your message right now. The sun's going to come out. Read the fine print <laughs> is what I'm telling you. Whatever messages come into you, read the fine print. And a lot of messages will come into you because, again, Mercury retrograde ends today. Mercury goes direct tomorrow on February the 21st. So in March, Mercury will be fully direct. So any messages that were backed up, they're going to be coming in fast and furious in March. When those messages come in, when you get ready to make a choice, two of wands, read the fine print. Because if you don't, you're going to be carrying a ten of wands. You're going to have a heavy burden on your back. But I have a feeling you're going to make the right decision because the sun came out in that, in the pre-shuffle. So you're going to be fine. Read the fine print. All right, Sagittarius. KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. KIRWKC on all the social media platforms. Also, this podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, so on and so forth. If this resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to share because sharing is caring. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. That way you will know when I upload new videos. Until next time, Sagittarius, be blessed.